Hi, this is Afi. Um, I'm actually doing the prep, so the storage setup for the Leopard 30 by 30 that I got from Malaga Markets. So this is a 30 by 30. It's square. Um, I paid. $35 for this and this is one that I picked up from the store. So it's only 10, 15 minute drive away. Um, $35. So this is the one where when you go looking on AliExpress, it is from the Leopard in, in um, AliExpress is actually at the moment only $14.85. So I paid $20 more than I did from the website. However, I did not have to wait for delivery. Weigh up what you want, how you want to look at it. But to me, I'd be prepared to actually wait for delivery. $20 is $20. When you, when you do a lot of these, um, yeah. But yet again, if you're waiting for something to come in the mail, China mail, yeah, go down, grab a small one. But this is a 35, 30 by 40. This is, to me, it's a small one. But uh, because of the size of the other ones that I'm working on, but this is um, still a nice nice one to do. Um, looking at the canvas, I showed the canvas before, the canvas is very clear and you can really see what it's going to look like. So what I have done is, I've done a lot of prep work already. What I have done is my storage containers. I have already labelled them. What I have also done is gone into my spares because I keep my spares all numbered up. So these are all my spares. So I've kept my spares and I've gone through and I found the ones that I already have spares of and added them to this. When I completed the diamond painting, like all of my diamond paints, when I complete them, whatever's left over, I put into my storage and I'll use it again. Remembering though that you will have diff possibility of different light dye lots. So what you want to do is make sure that your dye lots match when you put them together with um, other uh, that your, your leftovers. Because I have had um, two same DMCs came out very similar in colour. Um, they were yet again, obviously they were different, but these were actually two that I'd ordered, I'd actually, these are two that I got as spares. So, because I needed extra drills for a picture that I was doing and yeah, I got two color, two of the same colour, two of the same DMC number, but they were actually different colours. So really watch your dye lots. So I'm going to sort this out. Fill this um, if you need to, fast forward it. But this is more about showing how I start off. Um, don't expect the full thing to be watched, but that's it all set up. I have, I don't have any 310 yet. So what I've done is because 310 is such a widely used number, even though this is the first time I've got 310s in the squares, I've actually gone and grabbed, put it in, I'm putting it into a big container. I've looked at my how much I need for the 647. I need more than, I need six bags or more than that. So I've just gone with a bigger container. These will hold about 10 bags. These will hold about five. So when I set these up, I look at how many bags I'm getting supplied with. But so that's that container. So I have to turn around and use my label maker. So these, I do put the um, DMC numbers on them. but that's um, your Dymo tags. But what I have done is I have seen people looking at the, uh, is talking about these things and I've been looking at it going, oh, maybe, maybe not. I've used it once already um, as a trial and really happy I did go with it. So this, I'll just remove this out of the way. These are very easy to work. When I brought it, I was looking at it going, is it battery operated? I went and brought batteries just in case. It is not battery operated. Good thing to know. It is just a case 
of popping it in and trying to get it straight. Then you go to the other end, and there's tape in there, and you are just simply pulling it through. Pull it through and rip it off. There we go. So now what I've got is labels are there. You can see the, the symbols. But on the paper itself, it says rub and peel. So just giving this a really good rub. And I was really, you know, when I first did it, I was like, what the hell is this meaning? What, what you know, what's this going to do? So that was my first first go. And um, let's see the exciting surprise on that. So I've given that a really good rub, just making sure the edges are rubbed, rubbed really well. And the bottom and the top. So rub and peel. So I'm going to peel the clear plastic off. I love my nails. I love my nails, but at times they get really annoying. So now I'm going to rub that off. And I was thinking, oh, well, that's going to pick up off that. So you've got that plastic come off. And now you've got your symbols, your D and C code. What is a good example? I'm just going to cut these out. What I'm going to do is actually cut just between the line. That's all I need to do. So the exacto. I could probably do just with the symbol, but I do symbol and number, symbol DMC number. Good ruler, good exacto knife. Where did I get up to? Six four five. Not very straight there. So the plan is for me with these, I will put these also on the storage containers. But when I'm all done, I will actually take these off the storage containers and then I'm left with just the Dymo label symbol, DMC's number, sorry, and then that goes into storage. All right. And while I talk, I forget where I'm up to, so what's cut? 3031. All silent. <laughs> um, so I'm where I got this from the Lager Markets. There was a range there where they were sorted into owls, there was birds, there was religious, there was vehicles, which is cars and motorbikes. Um, I think they had peacocks, and there was an Australiana one. So in there, there was a kookaburra, a kangaroo, and a couple of others. So if you're in Perth and you want an Australian one and you can't find them in online, go in and have a look. They are there. Pricey, overpriced in my opinion, but still um, worth having a look if you're after those in particular. I've seen some Australian ones online. However, I've never remembered where the site is. And to actually be able to say, you're in And I just dropped you off my camera. Oh, that's special. I just said you're flying. Sorry. Where did you go? Now try and set this up again. How many have issues setting up your cameras? Have them flying and then you've got to rearrange everything to get it right again. That was really good. Okay. Slightly different view. Still works. Maybe not.
still works. Okay, so what I have done in my storage container, I have put a sticky label on it. I'll rip that sticky label off when I've, when I've um, completed and then I'll use this storage container for another one. So I have these little, when I do the diamond paintings and I do my storage and I take them out of, and I unpack and do the inventory, this is, I have a range of ways that I do it. One is in these containers or I also have these and that one I used for, um, that's my big five piece. That's the one I'm just getting a bit of a break from because it's just so big, so big. Okay, but this way I've gotten rid of a lot of the clear, the plastic and all I've got is the drills and the inventory sheet that folds up. I actually fold the inventory sheet over like that so I can see, by folding that I can see the picture directly on it. But, so the exciting plus thing is these labels, so you can see, I've actually, you can actually see where I've cut them. And because of my nails, my accuracy of sticking stuff down is, is horrible. So the X-Acto knife will actually fit underneath. And that's what I've got. Symbol, BMC number, and... By doing that, I can place that really easily. The exacto knife using that as well, if I actually haven't cut off the corner properly. So yet again, I'm able to, the exacto knife actually gives me a better ability to place them. Crooked, you got OCD, not good. I used to think I had OCD. I don't. I'm happy with the way a lot of things go. I'll accept it. But then there's other things that I cannot accept. So I'm OCD on particular things. I'm OCD on colour coding more than anything else. Oops. Colour coding is a big one. Um, oh, come on. There we go. But yeah, this sticky is on the other side of it. It's on the back of it. Fantastic. Oops. How easy is that? How good is that? I've heard people talking about them online, saying, yeah, they're using those purple... Xyron, Xron, um, they do sell them as a removable label. I'm just using the labels that were in the box. If it's anything like other stuff that's sticky, if you need to get it off, you'll find a little bit of, if you put some oil, whether it's baby oil, vegetable oil, extra virgin olive oil on a two, on a um, cotton bud and rub it over it, you'll find that that should, and should being the word, um, lift off the paper. It will also lift off the sticky. Um, good trick to getting band-aids off if you happen to have, need to get band-aids off. Six, four, seven. Whoops, I didn't cut that one properly. Oh so yeah, nice and easy to do. Um, Organisation. One of the things with diamond painting that I really enjoy is the organisation. So that's where... So people with OCD love organisation, organising things, having a neat party. You know, I just like 
being organised. I hate seeing wasted time and it's so funny because my partner thinks my diamond painting is wasted time because I'm, he's quite sure I could do so, so much more in my time than doing this. But um, to me, this is relaxing. Um, it's the equivalent to him going four-wheel driving. Oops, that's stuck on the back of my arm. Which, yes, I enjoy doing, but he went four-wheel driving last night. I don't know what time he came home. He left at about 7 o'clock. Um, I know he was there when I woke up this morning. I also do recall hearing him coming home. Um, but my guessing is he came home at about 2 o'clock in the morning. And I like four-wheel driving, but nighttime four-wheel driving is uh, not for me because the way they four-wheel drive, if they actually, and they do go out as a group of, group of vehicles, but if they have issues with a vehicle, um, you end up, you could be stuck here overnight. Um, I've had it where my partner's gotten home at 4.30 in the morning and had to go to work, leave for work at 8 in the morning. Worth it? No. Nah. Okay. I value my sleep in my bed too much. I do shift work. I'm not going to go around and pace silly buggers all hours of the night doing that. My, my night time when I'm not at shift is for sleeping. Or diamond painting till 3 in the morning. Yeah, I can understand that one. Oops. Okay, so that's that. Um, what I will do is I'll put these labels on. That's not actually cut properly. Now I see how this is why the exacto is good because now I've got labels stuck on my fingernails that I need to rearrange and rearrange. But yeah, I'll hold them up. How good does that look? I've got my coding. Focus camera. It's just not focusing on that one. That's the one that's not focusing, which is a little arrow. There we go. So fast forward it if you like. Keep watching if you like. Um, I will say while I'm while I'm done and painting, I actually have um, YouTube clips playing. I have diamond painting YouTube clips playing while I'm doing this. Um, yeah, it feels like I've I've got company while I'm done and painting. I obviously don't have it playing while I'm. I just had a couple that weren't cut properly. I obviously don't have it playing while I'm doing this, but while I'm actually painting in itself, oh, it's not good. That's me, me and my fumbling way of doing things, making things look really difficult. Great thing is I'm sticking these labels down with the DMC code and they're still matching up with the DMC code. So I'm, I'm not, haven't messed up on one, the coding, two, my Dymo labeling. They're all there. Oh, that looks funny. That's, that's a funny one. It's an upside down you. Oh yeah, this for me. If I, I will actually. So this, I will put this in the comments about using the Zyron labeler. Um, how easy it is, unbelievably easy. <laughs> More than unbelievably easy. Um, the only thing that you need to worry about is when you create your labels or you print your labels out, make sure that they are the right size, one, to fit into your label maker, and two, right size label for, for your actually container that you're going to sit on. If they don't fit in the label maker, you can't make them. So, yeah, just watch that. 
I I did it with this one. Learned the lesson with this one. Oh, yeah, that's cut. Um, where I used my phone, took a photo, emailed it, and then sent it to the picture, sent it to the printer. And when I printed it out, they were too big. So just make sure that when you create your printout, your printouts no, not an issue. Okay, so from here, I'm going to fill these up. But when I look at the coding, how do I set it up in my drill storage? If close, 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 three, eight, four, eight. If I actually look at that one's not cut. Oops, it's folded it and creased it. Crap. Oh. Okay. Just fumbled up the last one where I can't set a symbol properly. Uh, fix it though. Fix it up. So these are now done up. I will proceed to fill these. So if you want to fast forward this, um, I think on my clips I'll actually in my in my comments I'll actually do my timing. So at a certain time I I reviewed this. At a certain time I started doing this. At a certain time I started doing this. So that you can see where I'm up to at each one of those. But let's put the exacto away before I cut myself. Scissors and my big tray. And when I say big tray, when you look at the trays we get, you get these little trays. I got with this one. I got that boat without a funnel. But this is my big tray. I like my big tray. Um, so back. I do too much diamond painting. Okay. No, I can never do too much diamond painting. So get these off. You keep them in numerical order, but I get them off the clear tray so that when I do the good old, oops, I spilled them, <laughs> I only have to worry about what's in here. So this has got, so the lid actually has a good lip on it. Um, great for spillage. Where do I start? Where do I start? At the beginning. When I pack these away, you'll find that I pack these that's 300s and around and around and then my 3000s are in that point. So I know exactly where I need to start from. If I try and move myself a little bit. Do I move myself or do I move the camera? Probably easier if I move myself. So just digging into my tray and going from there. What I do have, 310 was the first one. Grab and scissors. Hijack scissors. These are great little scissors. Um, if you actually read them, Rapala. <laughs> and what's funny about that is the fact that this is um, what my partner uses. This is um, fishing line. It's a really, really good set of scissors. Um, he hasn't been fishing for a while, so I don't think he realises there it is. Now, I'm in two minds about how I do this. Um, in the way of, do I put it into the tray and then pour it? Or, ooh. And pour it. So that's one way to do it. Or do I cut the bags and just pour it straight in? That's a personal preference. Absolute personal preference. It depends for me. It depends on how I feel. Um, so yeah. Because even pouring into those is really easy. Cutting any five bags or more at a time, I tend to not be able to, for some reason, I don't manage to cut them all. 
and there's another rip. See, there's a the reason why. If I had it in a tray, see how that's actually stuck. I'm gonna muck around because the bag is double sealed. If I was doing that in a tray, that I'd be ending that really quickly. And still, whereas the tray would have been done by now. <laughs> Get in there. Get in there. One, one. There we go. I've actually ended up with a bit of plastic in there too. Okay. So 310. Four one three. Now, this is where I'm saying about where you've already got existing drills. If I, we look at those, they're pretty close. However, what I am going to do is I will cut these and put them into the tray. This is where your comparison is. It is when you're comparing current, your, new, your fresh drills to your, your old stock. What I am actually doing is opening up the whole, whole lot. I might as well do the whole lot because, well, Still, my bag is just pointless because I'm still going to have to cut it. And I've got drills stuck in there. Okay, so that's the 413. If I actually get it, what I'm doing is grabbing one of my drills from. So I've just grabbed one drill from my storage. I'm going to pop that down there. And I'm putting one drill from the new lot. So if you actually can see, this is where you're going to look at it and go, is it the same die lot? And they've got their colours all right. They're matching. They're good. So I'm really happy with that one because I've got that on white and they are matching up. It, there's no difference in colour. If there was a difference in colour, I wouldn't be putting them together. But, yeah. I think, though, I've got a bit of static on these. So that was... Actually, look, this is... Four bags. The one that I so you can get <laughs> just one won't get out. So that's four bags of drills in there. There is still room for more. Um, these actually take five bags. This one here, the big one of these, takes thirty-five bags. Yes, measured it out, counted them. Okay, I'm just going to try and see where my way through. Let's see if I can find the 823, which is a dark colour, which I had only one bag of. 823. So this is my single bag. I've got more than enough of that. But I'll do the same thing with this one, the colour comparison. Just making sure I was using the right number. So put them aside. There's one there. Oops. Just flung that one out. And yet again, checking those. When you really, I have, when you see some of them, you'll see, <clears throat> you can go 100%, go, that is definitely not the same. You might have a very, very, very faint change, but generally, if you've got a mixed match of colours, 
you will see it very clearly. 934 is three bags and it's a greeny brown. Nine four five nine should be in this corner. There we go. Because I know I bag these a certain way, I was only digging where I put the nine. Way to find them quickly. And that is definitely nine three four. I can't check this one. So that's a green. Let's get one of these out. Looks close. Pull one out. Ah. Yet again, checking it, and there's no real difference in color. You know, it's when you've got that, you know, like this one, it's really nice to know that, well, that's one colour I'm definitely not going to run out of, which is really great. But yeah, always check, always check. Because the drills, when you're using these, there's so many colours, but when you're looking at shading, because the bigger the, the painting you do, the more colours you get. And that's because of um, slightly different shades of some um, you know, with um, one of my with my big blues and purples you know that slight different cut change of color um, if it's too much of a variation it's not a, it's just a fraction so this one Look at the camera, we can even see they're, they're the same colour. But side by side out of plastic is still the check to be done. In a way, I was hoping that I'd find one that looks really different. Okay. That one and that one. To be able to show you what it's like, but no, they're matching, they're good. Whoops, drop one. Get in there. There we go. Okay, so that's all the, oh no, I've still got one more. Six, four, eight. Six, six are in that spot. Six, 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 six. Six, four, eight, and this will be a pretty close. I actually I'm not sure whether these ones match up or not. I'm gonna only cut the one bag. Oh, that's six, four, eight. Oh no, yes, six, four, eight. Okay. Okay, one of that and one of my old ones. Oh, yet again. There's a slight difference there. Very slight, though. Oh, just shadow. Uh, if I put more with it, no, you can't even tell it's a different one. So, yet again, another one. But I had, yeah, one of the ones that I had was really weird in the way it came with colours. It just did not match, and it's a very distinctive mismatch. Right. So, I've got all those done. Now, I'm actually going to cut. The rest of the ones that I store, I'm gonna not use the tray, not use the tray with the funnel. 
I'm actually going to cut the bags directly and, and pull them directly into. Um, but using the tray when you're comparing, if you've got a white tray, probably the best one to use. Colour's okay, but I would turn around and use a use a white tray. It's just easier to see the differences in colour. Okay, so that out of the way. That out of the way. And six or seven. Five, six bags I will not be able to cut all at once and get it nice. Bring it down to three. I probably will later this afternoon. That's one o'clock on a Sunday afternoon now. Later this afternoon. I might actually just do a simple drill with me while I work on my um, soulmates, which is my, my youngest boys, 647, 676. Six. Um, yeah, so when I work on his, I will actually, I might do some diamond painting with that. Um, it's it's such a pretty pretty thing. I the soulmates. I actually did see that one as a small one in the Malaga Market store, and it, in the soulmates, you've actually got a silhouette of two people, um, which is really really cute, really cute. But when you look at it as a small Or six. When you look at it as a small painting, as a small, it comes out. There's about, it looks like about six diamonds go into the spot where you've got these two people. Um, the details just not there. Whereas the one that I've got, you can see that it's, it is a couple, um, and it actually looks like he's on his knee proposing. Which is really cute. There we go. Come on, out you get. I normally do, I've got a, went with my, all the stuff that I've got. I created um, a box where everything that I use to start up my storage is in there. And you know, I've grabbed my stuff out and the one thing that I have forgotten to do, okay, this is the one with the four bags, one of the things that I forgot to do was actually grab out my dryer sheets. So my dryer sheets, I've grabbed one sheet and I've pre-cut it. So that if I have any that need to be, that have static, the dry sheet's there and ready. So what I'm at the moment hoping is that none of these have static because the container that I need to get to, the container with these dry sheets are actually underneath where the camera is, which is the tripod leg that happens to be in the way. So I can't be, a, here's one I prepared earlier because it, I can't reach, I can't get it out. Oh, these are stuck. Here we go. Just where the bags get sealed and they get heat sealed. And this is actually heat sealed into one section. And I've ended up spilling drills everywhere. Okay. This one, these ones are a little bit staticky. Since some people that have said put in the bags in the freezer before they do it, 
before they do the open them up and bag them up. Um, I might have to try that because the way that I do these, right? 779. The way that I do these is with. I do the unpacking. Whoops. 645. Uh, hopefully that one drill. I won't be sure that one drill. Um, with the way I do these, perhaps with the way I go. I do my unbox and inventory check from one, and then I come along and I do this storage setup. Maybe in between the inventory and my storage setup, I put them in the freezer. But yeah, the comments that I've heard is the freezer, putting them in the freezer somehow um, gets rid of the static. What's the other issues people have with their drills? The others is um, <clears throat> oily drills. Haven't come across any yet. Yet touch wood. Any operative word? There's five in there. I find cutting three bags is easier than cutting five. Whereas I'd cut four. There we go, I've done three bags and I can't get out. What's going on? I'm getting there. Come on. That's a nice little lemony colour. Gosh, get out. Great thing about working with the tray directly under you, even making sure you cut while you're over the tray. Just one of the essential things in life that you feel like you have to do. I have to say, one of the things that my other clips you get to hear is a little bit of a tapping in the background, which normally I make a comment going that's my dog he's awake if I actually shut if I open the front blinds three five six if I open the front blinds he goes and sits on the couch on his cushion on the couch and goes to sleep he watches the world go by um, whereas if I have the blinds down and he can't see out, every little noise he hears, he will get up and investigate. He is, I don't know how you put it, you have watchdogs and you have guard dogs. Watchdogs will watch for things and yap to let you know that there's something there. As opposed to a guard dog who is silent and watches and then only announces themselves when somebody is too close and has a really good deep bark that um, when people get close enough they tend to hear him and move away. I used to live in a really bad area, I wouldn't say a bad area, but I lived in an area before my little my, my little friendly puppy, before he found his voice. And one of the things you worry about, you know, you get when you live in some areas it's the burg I should put it the burglary rate is pretty high. We've moved from there now. But we're there for six, seven years. When he was a pup, we actually had someone walk in our back door, fast sliding door, and take my handbag, which had my phone and my passport all in it. Thankfully, not the keys. Um, so, you know, that's a, a scary thing to have happen. It's a very scary thing to have happen, to think that side of it, that somebody can walk in and do that. 
um, flip that the other way, which is the other scary thing about that incident, was from that sliding door, you can actually see me and Beth. So whoever it is that came in and took my handbag would have seen me asleep. They wouldn't have seen my partner because you couldn't see my partner because the way the bed is positioned, but they would have seen me. Mind they would if they had to come in and see my partner, they would have bolted to the other direction anyway. Um, but so that's not it wasn't a good area. However, once our little four-legged friend that we have, little Bo, who's a sharpe, 928, when he found his voice, we knew when there were people coming up our driveway. Because you wouldn't hear anything initially. You'd hear him as he was pushing the blinds away to be able to stick his nose out and have a look. But he wouldn't bark. And because he was, um, he's not black. He's a very, very dark brown, very chocolate brown. Um, and because he's so dark, you don't see him. So until we get people come up and walk up the driveway, once they get near the windows, they will hear him. And it's only a couple of growls, a little bit of a growl, and then it's a major woof bark. And I've been there where I've heard him do that. And I've actually gotten up to look in time to see that there is someone leaving our driveway. All he did was the job of a guard dog, which was, I'm here. You want in, you'll deal with me. But he's good. So for us, when he goes off, whoops, oh no, I just dropped one of my containers. Here we go. Yeah, so when he goes off, we know the difference in his barks and his growls. And we know when there's a someone that um, shouldn't really be there is in the area. He has some very cute little barks and growls, and he has some very exciting, um, some very happy ones as well. But yeah, he's asleep. He's a good boy when he's asleep. Uh, I think that's in the eyes. Yeah, that's the colour in his eyes. So hopefully you're enjoying the entertainment that I'm giving and the conversation that I'm giving. Uh, so the 3809, I think. That's the one with, with the little numbers on it. I think it's that one. I'll leave that there. 3031. So that's one where I gave the bigger container because there's six bags. It's not coming down. So when I've once I've got these all sorted out into their containers, my this here, I don't have these sitting in numerical order of the DMC code order. I have them in relation to the symbols. And by that I mean this, this painting. I'm lucky. This painting has numbers, letters, and symbols. So what you'll see is when I've done this, how I set that up. Yes, it's full. 
Oh, I've got some sprays in these. Look at this. In this bag, I've got greens. In this one, I've got some greens. In this one, I've got some greens. 3064. I'm just going to have a quick look. 3064, five bags, 816 required. I'll be fine if there's a mixed match of colours in there. I'm quite sure I'll have enough. So long as I don't do clumsy me and drop them. But yeah, there's some colours in there that don't belong. Dig those out when I'm painting. They're green of some sort. Yeah. And static and one bag didn't cut properly. Whoop. Let's re cut that one. So I'm still, we'll say it, these drills look okay, but I still haven't had any oily drills. Paper stuck in that one. And no oily drills, which is a good thing at this stage. And that's in all of my diamond painting time. <laughs> haven't come across any issues. Three oh seven eight. I knew that was going to happen. Knew it. Those bags were too small, which is why I only did why I split them up into a group. Okay. Do 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 do. Come on. Get off my finger. Got one stuck on my thumb, and I just can't get it off. There we. Go. Now it's stuck on my other finger. Uh, oh, that was a little bit of something. Three o seven eight. I've got another bag there, another colour there, but I actually already have colours for that'll be interesting to see how that goes. Oops. These containers, the Darice containers or Elizabeth Ward or Craft is it craft they're not craft mates, craft something. I really do like these containers, really do. Um, I've got four of them at this stage, three, three of them actually are the 42 containers which actually has um, the bigger containers like these containers and up. I have one which is the 82 or 82 or 84 piece or something like that which has all of these little containers. So with that, these little containers, um, you get the one that has little containers, you know, the 82 or whatever it is. I have another one of those on order because these little containers are the great ones for the leftover drills. Uh, 
So yeah, one more on order. I also have, I mean, a probably, I think, I've, yeah, I've done a clip on the other that I've got, which is the Craftmates Lockable. And I have one now. Well, no, no, I have both of them have, have arrived now. I've got two. Um, I have two. I have those are put aside specifically for my customs. I have two customs. Three three seven one. Is that three three seven one? There we go. Three three seven one. Yes it is three three seven one. Just didn't look like one of the threes look like an eight. Um so yeah the craft mate lockable is for a custom or for my two customs which I'm still waiting to arrive which I ordered early August late July early August I've got them missing in the mail so they're sending another set out and I actually had to chase them up for details on that but I won't say who they are um, I will actually say it when I do the unboxing for those because that's for when I will, that one will be specifically about that company that provided them. 3371 and 3790. And I'm also thinking that what I might do is after I've posted it online, I might. No, that's nasty. I was thinking about sending them the YouTube clip, but I won't do that. Um, I find the reason why I record these, one is to share with you guys. Um, the other is that what I can do is if I have an issue with something, it's on camera. It can show that there's a discrepancy on what I've received. You know, that's the big thing is I've got a discrepancy. Here we go. This is me doing, opening these up on camera. You know, I've un your unpacking is done on camera. Your inventory is on camera. So you send that link to the supplier and go, hey, this is how I feel about your product. You know, I was happy up until, bang, there was so many missing bags or I come across sticky drills or, or whatever. And there's no issue with the dispute. I've had been short. I, admit, I have been short some drills. Yeah, I've been short some drills. One company I've been short with twice. Um, and I turned around and said, I sent them the link to the unboxing, unpacking for my second one. <clears throat> I didn't do it for my first one, but I did do it for my second one. And the reason why is I didn't do it for the first one. I didn't see any point. I sent them an email. They responded. I got the drill within two weeks. Yeah. That, I got the drills within a week, actually. It only took a week. So, you know, you allow company to stuff up once without having to do any issues. You know, what is it? What's the rule? Fool me once, shame on me. No, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Once, shame on you, shame on me, you know. Um, but the third time, never. Never go back for a third time. If you stuff up with them a third time, you, you don't really want to go back to them. So this company, I it was the second time that they were short drills. So I sent them the link to the YouTube clip, which means 
they will actually be able to see the unboxing that I did for the first one as well as the one that I've just done. I did so I'm doing this because I've got I've got a container with spares in it. So this one here I want to match up. I did send them the link to the unboxing of that particular one that I was that is my second one. This is just not coming out of the bag. Out of the bag again. Now yeah, they'll come out. There we go. Um, so what I did do is send them the link to the YouTube clip that I've posted. So now they can actually have a look at the other YouTube. They'll be able to spot the other YouTube clip because I put their company name on it. Um, but what I did was the I actually did a drill with me on on it, but I haven't posted it because what I have done is, and it might seem strange because I want to give the company a chance, you know. What have we got? Sorry, doing the comparison here. Get off. There we go. There. Yeah, they're good. Um, so what that does is I give them a chance to have a look and I've sent them the clip with – I've actually sent the video clip where I've only – I've shortened it, I've trimmed the clip and sent them that – the shortened clip just of where I discovered that I was short of drills while I was drilling um, because – it was, oh gosh, these are not going to, these aren't playing fair. This is static. This is static. This is what you call static. Gosh, these are going to be horrible to pick up, these ones. Um, because there wasn't an inventory sheet um, of any sort and because it was only, it was, Chris, uh, it, it was Christmas cards. So if you actually go and have a look, you'll see which ones it was. Um, so there's no inventory sheet and there was one bag for each colour and there's only like 10 or 12 colours or something like that. So you couldn't do a count off and it was all by weight. It'd have to have been by weight because each of the bags was set, set different. You, you could see there was different amounts in each bag. But this one thing that I did, it was short two colours. So there was no chance of, you know, of being able to say, well, this required five bags or this required two bags because each of them had only one bag and they were, you know, packaged as bag one, two, three, four and five, six, seven, eight, etc. Okay, so I've ended up with four drills on my bench, on my desk, which I'm actually just not going to worry about those because I can't match them up. And here's my storage now, and these are in DMC number. What I'm now going to do is rearrange them. I'll take out my colour, i take out some of the Take out storage containers. There we go. I've probably lost another one in there. Okay. So what I've done is I've emptied these storage containers. Work my way through. Number, symbol, letter, 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 letter. Gosh. Um, gosh, I can't even see where that one is. So while I've got this, 733, that looks like a number. Okay, letter, 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 symbol, symbol, letter, letter, Symbol, letter, number, there, symbols, 
glitter. Number, number, letter, number, symbols, and letter. Okay, so what I've got is symbols, numbers, and letters. So symbols are put into the very first one. And I do these symbols. I do keep them in DMC code order because there's no rhyme or reason at this stage that I can actually think about putting these together any other way. 3373 three, 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 Okay. So that gives me... Bring this down so you can see. So that's all my symbols are in there and they are in DMC code order. What I do is empty container storages up to the top with numbers. So I've got two, three, seven, three. Oh, I'm going to struggle with that. That's a one, two, six, eight, seven, and five. Oh. I don't like those ones, but okay. I'll explain that one in a little while. Fives. Fives and S's are horrible with my eyesight. But so now I've got one, two, five, six, seven, eight. So I use my storage containers to keep them down the bottom. So now I've got symbols, numbers. And here we go. B. M. B. U. B. W. Q. R. M. N. O. P. B. D. B. D. B. U. V. W. H. I. J. K. L. M. B. A three oh six four is the Y N M N H I J K and there's the H. Okay, so these are now alphabetical. Um, I will put containers in here and A B C D E. I try and Keep these about the same in height. I just put the containers in. So what that means in my organisational mind, in my head, what that gives me is when I start to do diamond painting, once you start learning your numbers and your letters, that's it. So there we go. So symbols, numbers, and letters. Okay. So when I'm actually doing my diamond painting, I've got my symbols there. When I'm dealing with my numbers, I'll get used to it with going one, two, three, one, two, five, six, seven, eight. And my letters, you get used to it. So instead of having to search, through because they're in numerical order, a DMC order. I just know I need to look here for my numbers. I know VWX is here, my N to U is here, A to K is here. So once you start getting used to doing it that way, for me, that's how it makes sense. So that's it. I will put that goes into a folder. I have the box leopard 30 by 40 and that goes with my other one I've got set up for my peacock this one here which is my spares it has no label on it 
just put those on top. And then what I do with my final one is in my folder with all my other stuff. I just pop that in there. There's no, these are ordered in, I place these in the order of, it's the best way to put it, in the order of ordering them, purchasing them. Um, so yeah, my little list of stuff I've done. So yeah, that's uh, for more than an hour.